Good morning, it's Kai again, and I'm back with another video. And as I said in the last episode, I started work on an aerodynamic suspended coaster. And as a kind of twist on the coaster concept, which I always like to do with mine, I wanted to add an inversion, though the real thing that makes this coaster special, in my opinion, is just how aggressive it is going to be. It is very much inspired by Eagle's Fortress, an old um, aerodynamic suspended coaster in uh, South Korea that is technically defunct as of now. But it had an extremely aggressive uh, transitions in there, which just saw the car completely flying in every direction. And at the same time, it was a very terrain focused coaster with a lot of interaction with the ground and the surrounding trees. I really wanted to emulate the feeling of that coaster in this park, um, mainly because I already think I've built enough like family coasters this far, though I'm probably going to add some more. So I really wanted to add a lot of swooping turns and have it go through the layout at a very very high speed and in fact if we take the lowest and the highest point and um, the difference is like um, I think it was over I think it was 75 meters so a, a lot like if, if they went terrain around this this would be considered a hyper so one of the things I really wanted to do with this coaster was to have a a lot of sections where the coaster is just essentially going down and you have a lot of direction change. And I incorporated that twice, once in the beginning and once after the uh, turnaround. And I also wanted to add a really tight turn under the lift hill. Of course I also quickly added in a switch track because you have to store the coaster's car somehow. Um, it's also inspired by the switch track from um, Eagle's Fortress because instead of having a separate storage track, the train just simply stored on the switch track and the switch track has two tracks. As for colors, I've experimented a bit around with some like Arabian colors. Oh yeah, this probably should mention this is going to be have an Arabian theme, um, much like the Coast and Extend, which has of more like an Ottoman Empire Turkish theme. And what I really wanted to do is like add more yeah, Arabian style colors. And in the end I chose for like a sandier, darker blue with some gray in there. And then this very vibrant yellow color for the train. Um, then of course when I finished building the ride I smoothed it out a lot which I cut off. And then just started work on the supports and also started work on the uh, switch track. At first I added this little piece of track in there, um, which is also what exists in real life, uh, well not anymore, but what existed uh, with uh, the switch track of um, uh, Mikos Fortress. Though um, I later on removed it because of the station building, or you will see that later on. So I really wanted to add in like these very strong sturdy supports you see. I, I didn't want to modernize it or anything, though this is what suppose, supposedly like a more modern version of the uh, suspended coaster, which which probably was set like shortly before Eros bankruptcy or something along those lines. In general, I also wanted to have a lot of ground interaction, so I then just went around uh, with the terrain tool and just started digging out a um, bit of like tunnels and some nice like cliffs that can dive through between. I did want to leave enough space for the coaster cars to swing in, like um, 90 degrees to each side to have some wiggle room in case something goes wrong with the coaster or it gets stuck or something. So I tried to pay attention to it too, but uh, when it came to the uh, supports I might have sometimes gave myself a little bit of a, well, a cut of realism to just include this more generous um, well, space, the, the small generous um, clearance. Mainly because I mostly wanted the coaster to look good instead of just being completely realistic and 
At first I thought about creating a bridge above the entire land but I quickly scrapped that as you could see and then just started work on supports. My first support right here um, was this big one with a massive tube in the middle with all of the supports coming out from there. The rest of the supports are going to be similar to this one though I will yeah, change on to a bigger um, connecting connector. And uh, the, essentially it is going to be this very big um, tubes with this uh, long cast iron thing so connectors or track. Um, I didn't really need any other kind of supports because this these don't really go that high and this one is no exception. It barely goes above ground level at some parts, especially with all of the terrain that is um, kind of just connecting through there. So uh, um, I just quickly started to add in the supports structure. As for the ride itself, I am not sure for any real seam as of now. Um, though I'm open for suggestions, like of course it's got like an Abrabian seam, but other than that, like just that is not a good thing for course, so you need some context of what this ride is supposed to be. Though other than that, I um, would uh, like to talk about a bit more about my plans for the future of this park. So first of all, in the next episode, what I want to finally work on is this big um, Giga slash Hyper Coaster in the front, though I haven't quite made my mind up if I want a BM or an Interman. Though I'm leaning more towards an Interman Hyper than a BM Giga. Um, also, I really want to start getting into the um, well, other section other than Europe and well, the near Asia. I really would like to start, well, I also did not, what are they saying, I also did not Africa with the uh, Egyptian Jackson though. I really want to get in more to the Central and Southern Africa as well as the uh, Asia section. And then from down I really want to start work on the America section with uh, like South and North America. Though I not really sure what kind of theme to go for each one of those, especially with um, Central Africa. Like the obvious theme of course would be just to make it like jungle theme, have it something along the lines of Kumba. Maybe I could even do a B&M sit down. Um, then again, I would like to have more of a like cultural basis and just simply nature. I would uh, what I think about is maybe like something like in Zimbabwe where they have the well the Zimbabwe which is the thing you country's name after with like these like stone fort things that could be like a cool scenery piece for a coaster, maybe like a cool station piece. Like you have a lot of really cool things, but the problem with Africa is always is that a lot of the uh, cool buildings and architecture was just destroyed by the Western colonial powers, which is really quite sad. Though I also want to maybe incorporate more modern settings. I I, I really dig the idea of having like a like I don't know like a G Congo slum or something with all of these um, shacks, but I think that might be a bit problematic to just put in. So maybe not, maybe I won't do that. <laughs> Other than that, I might include a more modern thing with um, South Africa, of course, with the uh, um, apartheid and the uh, you know, um, horrible practices. Maybe there could be a cool coaster, maybe like themed around something like that. Maybe have a more of a dark theme though. Maybe I shouldn't uh, put in such heavy handed political subjects into a scene part. I'm still conflicted about it, but that's probably going to be a long way off. So after I uh, finished working on the uh, supports, I started to work on the station and station exit and I really wanted a short little path cover right here because the coaster was just swinging above it and of course first of all anything could fall onto it and other than that they could try to like reach out and touch the coast even though there's enough clearance there. So I just really wanted to quickly add a small arch and I'm not too happy with it but it just was like a quick fix for it. In general I'm not the best builder as you might notice. So then when we move on to the scenery episodes which I'm well, going to do after I finished constructing the layout of the park. I'm probably just going to quickly start to finish it off. I won't try to pull a silver red and just make like 50 episodes about building a single spire and then just call it a day and 
or whatever. I, I, I can't do that. I'm, I'm not as talented at this game. I am, as I said, really wanted to focus more on the coasters itself, and I really wanted to make this a coaster park. I, I, I actually don't really have any like strong plans on including like flat rides or something. Like for example, what I could do is um, add like a like maybe like a top spin, which is like themed like the one in Fantasia Land. Or one thing I really want to add is a big um, drop tower, but in general I don't really have plans to like put in any flat rides mainly because they are all have like they already have like theme or are very generic. Though the uh, first one is way more of a problem, especially considering things like the um, Enterprise ride, which is seemed to sci-fi, and you just can't add it anywhere else. Like wh where else would you add a uh, Enterprise ride that is like rocket cars? It just doesn't really work, and I think it's one of the main issues with the game. Then I, as you can see right here, started work on constructing the uh, station of the coaster and I really wanted a very Arabian feeling with a station with a lot of like arches, sandstone, uh, things like that. And it didn't quite fit the station 100% but I don't think it's too bad and I just work with it. It was also the part where I decided to delete the track because it was kind of sticking into the station and I didn't find it was too necessary to keep. If there's going to be like an uproar of bring back the 4 meter piece in the switch track then maybe I'm going to re-edit it but something tells me that won't happen really. Though in general this um, tire coaster I think has been really fun and I've been very happy because um, truth be told I already tried to build this coaster two times and then one time it was a Morgan Hyper coaster so plans changed a bit I guess. But I'm very happy with how the final layer turned out and so well. We are about to get into the part where I show you the POV and well, I hope that you will have some fun. Though if you have any problems or suggestions then just tell me right away. Uh, I'm going to shut up for a bit and let you enjoy this very... <laughs> okay, it's not that great. But I will uh, let you enjoy this POV, so we'll see us afterwards. Alright, another area is down I guess, and I'm very happy with this coaster, though I probably wasted a lot of this episode on trying to build the station, which well, I think it does look quite neat, though of course it will still need a lot of work to just finish it. However, I'm very happy with how the supports turn out in the end, even though it's just very basic though, you don't typically see very fancy supports for these. So in that case, I think it's very fun. I really like the implementation of the terrain. Um, I re also really like the two tunnels and the ending helix I would just tighten shortly before going in. So, take care. We'll see you some other time. <laughs> 